Well, hello everybody. I am inside the Grand Design Influence 3704 BH. I wanted to start us off in the living space, of course, because this is where you're gonna spend most of your time when you're inside the coach. To the right of me here is your freestanding table and chairs. Now there's a hidden secret in every one of these chairs and that's that you've got a little bit of storage and I truly appreciate that. Moving over, we've got this beautiful set of recliners here. Now there's no middle console, but it's really not needed when what they've done is finished off the armrest here with this solid platform. So you can rest your drinks, devices, and remotes. It's also an electric recline, so check it out. And it goes pretty far too. So both sides are gonna recline and you can go as little or as much as you like. Enough of that, let's keep going. <laughs> now directly across from the sofa here, we've got our entertainment center, but right away what catches your eye is this huge island with gorgeous solid surface countertops and aesthetically pleasing accent all along the front sides. Here, let's see if you can get a nice look right along here. Isn't that beautiful? It's the little things that just elevate the space. Moving over into this area, and now we're in our kitchen area. This is where you'll find an industrial style three burner gas range. We've got our oven, and what they've also done is giving you storage down below, right underneath, and we've got a residential style microwave. Now, the real star of the show in the kitchen is this sink, and I'm not kidding. The amount of functions it has is incredible. We've got a charcoal brush stainless steel and faucet, which really is a nice touch. Inside the sink, you'll find they've given you a cutting board, which you can never have too many. And then they've also inserted two different basins. So you have this basin type, which is quite standard. You can fill it, you can plug it up so you can have a little bit of pool of water in there for whatever you need. But they've also given you this really neat colander style basin as well. Now this is actually directly underneath a rinser, so kind of like a little fountain that will come out and rinse off your vegetables. You can control those with these knobs here. And then moving past the faucet, of course it does come out and retract, so you can kind of rinse off your sink however you like, because once these basins are removed, we've got a really nice deep sink. To the left hand side here, we've got our soap dispenser. And then the added cherry on top is this glass rinser. Now, if you have someone in your family that's anyone like my husband, he rinses all dishes, no matter how clean they are, he would love this. I need to install one of these in my own house. All right, and now I'm standing in front of the 16 cubic foot two door refrigerator freezer. Let's see if I can get it open. <laughs> I love it. Oh, it's so nice and cool. It's warm out today, folks. I love it when they give you this full vertical style storage for your fridge and freezer. Frost free, of course, and then we've got tons of storage along the doors, and it does go quite low. We've got some drawers down below. All right, now I had to move you around because I really wanted you to get the full view of this impressive pantry. So it's quite tall, we've got a light inside, and then what's that there? It's a Travelfy Wi-Fi router. So that's already been input and hardwired into your unit. So it's nice and easy, ready and set up for you to get Wi-Fi on the go. And again, the storage all the way down to about here. My next favorite thing about this kitchen is the coffee bar. There's so much to fall in love with, it's quite easy. So let's take a look. They've extended this solid surface countertop into your coffee bar area. This is where the lights are for your pantry, as well as your coffee bar and above. And then we've got an outlet here as well, and then there's your nice little light. All right, and then right below, we've got our drawers, and then we've got some more cabinets here. Now, this one is gonna be standard storage. This one is actually gonna contain your fuses. Just before we head out of this space, I really wanted you to get a good look at this three burner range here, this beautiful large window. If you notice in front of the coffee bar, we all, oh, <laughs> I always do that. If, if you notice in front of the coffee bar, we did have a full tile backsplash. That same backsplash is carried throughout um, this area here behind your range. <laughs> okay. One thing we haven't really talked about yet is your entertainment center. Now, this is where we've got your TV. It does come out on a swivel. Because if you remember, our sofa and dinette were kind of all next to each other along this slide. 
and then we've got this beautiful big island here so you might want to adjust the TV which is great because you can do so to ensure you've got good viewing wherever you are below is our fireplace now this is a more traditional style fireplace but you do have options for lighting so you can create a nice mood and ambiance as well as it's going to output a good amount of heat and i say that because earlier today i had put the heat on and boy did it get real nice and toasty in here so it's quite efficient for the big space that you've got and then coming right back up let's take a look at the additional storage above but the soft clothes. I'm a sucker for soft clothes. You guys should know this already. Okay, we're not going to go into the bunkhouse yet because I'm going to save the best for last, but let's head up into the main washroom. Come on. All right, moving into our main washroom. This is where you'll have your beautiful stand-in shower. Now, there's something really important about what they've done with this shower. So we don't have a skylight. We do have some marine grade lighting behind us, which really brightens the space. But what they've done is they've actually taken full advantage of the floor to ceiling height. And what I mean by that is they've actually recessed the floor. Just outside the shower, we have a great set of cabinets. So there's two cabinets here. Again, solid wood cabinet doors, really nice deep size storage. I could lose half an arm in there. And then right here, we've got some hanging space for towels. Um, and this is, of course, a porcelain toilet. All right, I just had to turn you around for a quick moment because I really wanted you to see this medicine cabinet as well as this is your sink here. So you've got this really modern looking faucet and then you've got a nice deep sink that kind of just goes right down like that. So you've got a good amount of space to wash your hands. All right, coming off that hallway, right by that washroom there is your bedroom. This is where you'll spend most of your time when you're in a s'mores induced coma. <laughs> just kidding, don't do that more safely folks all right let's take a look at the under bed storage oh i love an assisted lift and it's really beautiful what they've done is they've fully finished the storage underneath here let's see if i can go inside maybe you'll come with me now you can take a look and see at what they've done every space is important in this unit even the ones you don't see all the time all right so that's the fully finished under bed storage let's push this one down now there's something really cool that they've done with this headboard. So it's very minimalist and simple, looks beautiful, but it's also functional. Take a look at this. This little ledge right here actually flips down when not in use or if it's just not your style. We do have two small little ledges right underneath the windows here for you to put your devices. But if you wanna add a little decor or you've got all those books or just extra space for your charging devices, you've got that little ledge there on the top of your headboard. Just flip it up and you're good to go. Maybe we should turn on some lights in here, my goodness. One thing that I haven't pointed out yet is this is the AC control for the bedroom here. The next most important thing in a bedroom, besides the bed of course, is the closet space. A really cool thing that they've done is they actually have recessed the closet into that front cap. So we have a great amount of storage and shelving as well as hanging space. Even all the way into this side, they've added little cubby holes. And then right over here in what you'd expect to be your standard wardrobe is a wardrobe, but we also have washer dryer prep in here as well. That closet space really gives you plenty of storage. So if you don't need the extra space, it's well worth it to go ahead and throw in your washer and dryer. Okay, moving away from that space, we're in front of our dresser, another great big window in our bedroom to bring tons of natural light. TV's already mounted for you, one less thing you have to worry about. And the cool thing about this dresser is it's a slide top dresser. If you haven't seen what that looks like before, let me show you. So this just slides right out. It's a little shallow, but it's quite large. Nice if you wanna put any of your jewelry, socks, undies, honestly, you do what you wanna do. And then down here, we've got six drawers that can accommodate you. Again, ooh, nice solid drawers here. Okay, I guess I've made you wait long enough. Let's go check out that impressive bunkhouse. Okay, just before we make it into the bunkhouse, I did wanna show you that right above your coffee bar is where your main control panel is going to be. So this is where you can access all of your controls for your awnings, your slides, we've got your lights all at the push of a button. You can also connect to Bluetooth, so if you prefer to have that access in your pocket, 
go for it. As well as, this is where you can see all your tank levels, and they've even included a button here if you were to install a generator, so you can have that start button right up here. Okay, into the bunkhouse we go. I know what you're thinking, Laura, a bunkhouse is a bunkhouse is a bunkhouse, but no, this one is special, you guys, I made you wait. So we've got our trifold sofa here to the left of me with those same great armrests that have been finished off for you to put your cups and remotes and devices and all that jazz. We've also got a single bunk up top. Great news about the single bunk. One, it's got its own window, so that's fantastic to just bring extra natural light in here. But two, the latches are spring loaded, so you don't have to push it up and then try and latch one side or the other. You can actually just push it up and then it's gonna stay there. Super convenient. Let's get you in here so I can show you a little more. Okay, now that you are inside the bunkhouse with me, this is really the special part that I wanted you to see. You've got a good amount of space in here. Also lengthwise, there's a nice amount of room, but this desk flex space with the extra drawers <laughs> um, leading up into this huge bunk. Like, I mean, it's like a double bunk up there. You could definitely fit two adults if they like each other. Um, this is for if it is adults because we need help getting up. Right below this large size bunk, we've got a wardrobe and then a little cabinet here as well. So this one here goes quite deep. Honestly, I could fit inside it. Ah! There's hanging space in there for you. And then in this one, we've got kind of a different setup here with just some shelving and then there's drawers below. Soft clothes cabinets, what else could you expect? They've also added these deep shelves for you right all the way through down to the bottom. And then right down here is where you've got a furnace outlet. So whoever's in the bunkhouse can still be nice and cozy too. Speaking of ducting, we've also got ducts in the roof for the AC to come in so that the bunkhouse can stay nice and cool. Okay, I told you this bunk was huge, but I just feel like you don't believe me, so I just have to show you. Check out this space. It's amazing! And like, to be able to sit up as an adult in a loft space, perfect. Also directly in front of me is where your TV location is as well. Here we are in your half bath, just off the bunkhouse. Perfect for guests. We've got a second door here. There is a privacy screen, so no worries. And look at this. Same beautiful hardwood cabinetry. Look at how deep it goes. Plenty of extra space for people to store their toiletries, extra towels, linens, whatever you need. Soft clothes cabinets. <laughs> you don't usually find storage like that in a half bath. Also directly across from me right here, I don't know if you can see it. And we've got, we've got some hooks on the wall for you. We've got a mirror, porcelain toilet. Here's that beautiful black fixture that you see. And again, another deep sink. Well, there you have it. That concludes the interior tour. Let's take it outside because I have one more surprise for you. Okay, you guys, how's this for a surprise? Located just off of that second entry door into that powder room in the bunkhouse is your outdoor kitchen. Same great attention to detail out here just as there was inside. So solid wood cabinet doors with soft clothes. We've also got a great size beverage refrigerator. This is where you'll find your griddle. And then we've also got a drawer here for you to put your utensils, maybe scrubbies. And to round out that perfect outdoor kitchen, we've got a little sink here. It's not too deep, but it's just enough to rinse your hands. Now we'll do a quick little move along to the back. I did want to point out, we do have a hitch in the back here rated for 3,000 pounds. And they have also equipped you with the ladder so you can get up on your roof, check your ACs, check your solar panels, do your maintenance whatever you need. Okay, let's take it up to the front. All right, before we make our way up to the front, I do want to point out the pass-through storage here. We've got a removable panel in here, so certain components are easily accessible. We've got a six-point leveling system, and those controls are actually just on the other side of us here. That's going to be on the back side of that storage compartment door. We also have a tire pressure monitoring system in here. We've got lighting, and there's a spray port just to the left-hand side of me. 
All right, rounding out the end of the tour, we're just underneath the front cap here where you could access more additional storage. This is your traditional style storage where you can put your batteries as well as you'll find inverter prep, possible generator will fit under there. And then right over to the left-hand side of me is gonna be your shore power. We've got our Furion water heater as well as your output for your furnace. And then there's gonna be your convenience center in this dual door exterior storage. It's been my pleasure showing you the Grand Design Influence 3704BH as a recap. This is a stunning bunkhouse with outdoor kitchen, gorgeous front bedroom, one and a half baths, and an incredible kitchen space for entertaining. If this is something you can picture yourself in, please drop a comment below. I'd love to get in touch with you, get you hitched up and on the road. See you guys.